Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. Today we have another historical story from Germany. And I really like these historical stories that come in Wilhelm Wieland's Legends of the Rhine. This one in particular is, well, about an emperor and his sons and his death. This is The Bells of Speyer. The German emperor, Henry IV, had much trouble to bear under his purple mantle. Through his own and through strangers' faults, the crown which he wore was set with thorns, and even into the bosom of his family this unhappy spirit of dissension had crept. The excommunication of the Pope, his powerful enemy, was followed by the revolt of the princes, and lastly, by the conspiracy of his own sons. His eldest son, Conrad, openly rebelled against him and treated his father most scornfully. When this prince died suddenly, his second son, Henry, attempted the deposition of his father and made intrigues against him. Thus, forced to abdicate his throne, the broken-down emperor fled to the Age, accompanied by one faithful servant, Kurt, and there lay down to his last rest. His body was left for five years in unconsecrated ground in a foreign country. Kurt remained faithful and prayed incessantly at the burial place of his royal master. At last the Pope, at Henry's request, consented to recall the ban. Henry ordered his father's remains to be brought to Speyer and solemnly interred with the royal family. Kurt was allowed to follow the procession to Speyer, but wearied out by this long watching, the old man died a few days afterwards. Just at the moment of his death, the bells in the cathedral at Spire tolled without any human hand putting them in motion, as they always did when an imperial death took place. Years passed. The German Emperor Henry V lay dying on his luxurious coach at Spire. His bodily sufferings were intense, but the agony of his mind was even greater. He had obtained the crown which now pressed so heavily on his head by shameful, treacherous means. The apparition of his father, dying in misery, appeared to him, and no words of the flatterers at his bedside could still the voice of his conscience. At last, death freed him from all his torments and at the same hour the bells which were always rung when a poor sinner was led to execution told, set in motion by no human hand. Thus were the bells the instrument of that hand which wisely and warningly wrote, Honor thy father and thy mother. And that is... The Bells of Speyer, a story of a German emperor and his sons and the bells, which told and told the truth. This is Dan Scholes for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always, thank you so much for listening. <laughs>